Hello, and welcome to The History of Minecraft, the series where we start at the very beginning, the first version of Minecraft, and we work our way through the history of Minecraft, where each episode we play a new version of Minecraft to see where we started and where we've come. Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are here with the first episode of History of Minecraft. And what we're going to be doing, uh, as you could tell by the intro, is we are going to be playing through the entirety of the, of the versions of Minecraft that we have available to us, starting from the prototype version, also known as Pre-Classic. Now, this was made on May 10th or 11th, and basically it's just a prototype version, and the reason we're starting with the launcher is because, well, y you'll see. So we're gonna, we're gonna load this up, but basically this series is we're going to start from the very beginning in Pre-Classic. You can see I've already done some things over there. Um, and we're going to go all the way through to the current version of Minecraft, and I'm going to give you uh, a, a, a few points and, and things like that about this, uh, this game and what we've all learned from this game. And, uh, and, and different trivia facts and all of that about the, the various versions of Minecraft. So as you can see, I've already placed a few things. This is one world. That's it. You just get the one world, you can place cobblestone, which doesn't really have a name, it's just a block. Uh, but you can place cobblestone, you can jump around, you can move around, uh, and uh, you can place cobblestone with the left click, and you can delete blocks with the right click. Uh, now this grass doesn't, it, it's, it's nothing. It, you can't use it, there's no sound, the, the grass doesn't you can't have access to it. It's just cobblestone with a right click. And that's it. That's everything. That is this entire version. So, yeah. Uh, now, normally, for for these episodes, we will take an entire version, uh, and uh, or, or like a, a major update, and we will play through it all the way, right, for the entire episode. However, you can't really do that with classic or pre-classic. Uh, so instead, what we're going to be doing is we are just going to be doing uh, a, a basic, simple uh, first episode where we go through the first couple of very basic versions of Minecraft. So yeah, this is pre-classic. Let's move on. Alright, so here we are in the final version of Classic, also known as the, the end of the Classic era. But this is what a lot of people tend to remember. First of all, we don't have an inventory, right? But uh, quite a few things were added. First of all, we have a world with fog in it, right? We don't have everything. Um, we, we can't see everything. We have trees, we have flowers now, we've got dirt, we still don't have sound. I don't know why we don't have sound, but we don't have sound. Uh, we've got all of these blocks that we can use. We've got um, well, here. Here are all of the blocks currently available to us in the classic mode. Cobblestone, bricks, wood planks, leaves, specifically the oak variant, although they're basically just leaves. Glass, stone slabs, mossy cobblestone. It exists in the world. You can use it. Uh, however, I don't know how, so there is that. Um, you've got saplings, you've got flowers as we can see we've got the red we've got the red over there and then the yellow right here you've got mushrooms they also exist uh and then we've got sand gravel sponge yes sponge exists this early in the game and wool all of the different colors that we currently have we've got iron gold and coal ores as you can see over here there's some gold let's see if we can find something else <laughs> trying to block clutch in classic minecraft <laughs> oh my gosh placing too many blocks anyway uh let's see is there like oh we've got naturally generating caves 
they're not great. Oh, we did see, see some iron over here. There's some mushrooms. And this is starting to be starting to look a lot more like uh, Minecraft, right? However, I'm hitting E, can't open the inventory. Hitting I, no inventory as of yet. So do keep that in mind. We still do not have an inventory. So there's that. Uh, we've also got the iron block and the gold block as well. So those can be accessed as well. Then we've got bookshelves. We've got TNT that doesn't do anything. Uh, and then we've got obsidian and then bedrock, of course. Uh, which bedrock, if we, ha if we mine all the way down here, I don't believe it can be broken. Uh, yes, I think we are at the bedrock level uh, as you can kind of see through this lava right here. And also lava and water exist. However, yeah, it's not exactly the most um, active. It doesn't really do anything. But as you can see, there is bedrock over there. And if we were to try and break it, we can't uh, because that, uh, you know, it's bedrock. You can't, you can't break bedrock. Also, we can't get out of here now. Uh, so, so there's that. However, we now have a menu. We can save the level, we can load the level, we can generate a new level, and we do have options. As you can see, our sound is on. Just nothing's playing. Our render distance is currently at far. We could show the FPS, right? See, I'm getting over a thousand frames a second because this version of Minecraft is very, very user-friendly. Like, anyone can play this version. So there you go. You can limit the frame rate. So now it's less. <laughs> Uh, but you really don't need to, um, even with a far render distance, all of that stuff. There is no music, there is no sound still, uh, so yeah, there's that. Also, you're probably wondering why I'm playing it like this, with the, with the launcher in the background. Well, if I make it full screen, it does this. So, there's that. Do keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, it's a really interesting, basic uh, look at how Minecraft started. Also, we can generate a new level. Let's make a huge level. Let's make a new huge level. Boom. Here we are. Now, these worlds are finite, meaning they do end. So if we were to continue walking in one direction, we would eventually find an end pretty quickly, right? And it's not like Far Lands, right? which is in a later version, which we might talk about a little. It's not like the Far Lands, where if you get to them, you just, you know, it technically keeps going, but it's like this crazy world generation and stuff like that. No, there are finite amounts. As you can see, there's coal. We hadn't seen that as of yet. We also haven't seen obsidian, but to be fair, I have no idea how to... Uh, to, to really do any of that. Uh, let me actually check out my options real quick. Oh, here we go. We can check the controls, save location, jump, chat, load location, toggle fog, and then move, and build is B. So uh, let's actually hit that. Oh, there we go. So here's all the access to everything. So we can actually change to the iron blocks now, and we can place them. Uh, as as you would normally in Minecraft, right? You break with the left click and you place with the right. So now we've got some iron blocks. You can hit B again. You check out all of these cool blocks. We can make it sponge now, and and we can place some sponge down. So yeah, this is our this is our little world, right? Pretty cool. There's some there's a red mushroom now. We've got infinite water sources and lava sources as well, and they were often used uh, by griefers uh, to, uh, well, kind of ruin other people's uh, days. Ooh, got some mossy cobble. Nice. Just make some mossy cobble. And yeah, this is basically what it is. Also, I will show... Uh, hold on, I think... No, 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 I can't, I don't think I can spawn uh, anymore. But I will quickly show you a clip of a running animation and what the mobs look like, uh, or looked like, the human player mobs looked like 
in classic Minecraft. So I'll show you that real quick. All right, and here we are with uh, basically a few versions back of classic Minecraft, but I wanted to show you guys this. As you can see, the, uh, the window has become even smaller. But yes, this is the running animation that you would have while playing uh, multiplayer or anything like that. This is also the human player, or like the human mob. That's what they're called. Uh, and you could spawn them, I think, with the G key here. As you can see, now we have a whole bunch running around. So, yeah, classic Minecraft. Also, classic Minecraft added in pigs. Uh, we didn't see them in our previous world. Uh, but they were added into the game uh, at, during the classic Minecraft era, and they were cross-eyed, oddly enough. So, there's that. Uh, let's hop into the last version for this episode, InDev. Alright, so we're back, and this time we are in the Inf Dev version of Minecraft, uh, which is very similar to the in-dev version of Minecraft, which is technically the next version after Classic. However, the thing is, through the official Minecraft launcher, you can't get to the in-dev version, it's just Classic and then Inf-dev. There aren't really too many major differences between this and in-dev, so I'm basically going to be talking about them in a very similar light. Uh, and and I'll basically just be referring to this as indev because it's a lot easier to say than infdev. Now, indev is short for in development, but this adds a lot of really interesting things. First of all, we have this nice opening screen. We can't play multiplayer, the servers are dead. You can't play the tutorial level, which is kind of sad, I really wanted to, but we can still check out our options. We now have this option with the fancy graphics option, so that's new. Also, we have a difficulty option as well, so there will be mobs like creepers and skeletons and spiders, oh my, right? Uh, if we check out the controls, as you can see, we now have a drop key. We can now drop items. We have an inventory key, which as you can see, I've already set up to be E. It's originally I. So inventory is originally I. Do keep that in mind. That is something that uh, did change later down the line. We can still load locations uh, and save locations, and we can still toggle fog and then move around as normal and chat with T. So there is all of that. Pretty cool. Uh, so now we can ha hop into a, a new world. As you can see, I've already started a world. I'm going to delete it. Goodbye, so long, farewell. For some reason, the recording was being very, very stupid. I don't know why. Um, it just stuck. It, it was frozen on this screen. So there's that. Early versions of Minecraft, right? What can you expect? So we're going to generate a brand new world. Uh, and, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, and it crashed. Okay, <laughs> so we're back. Uh, I can't full screen it, because if I do, uh, my recording doesn't capture it. I don't know why. Um, but here we go. Here we are in InfDev, or InDev. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, we now have an inventory. This was a huge update to the game. We now actually have access to an inventory. We can now craft things. We have tools. Uh, we've got diamonds are now in the game. We've got a new map generation style. We can now take screenshots um, pressing F7 rather than F2. Uh, we can get food like pork, bread, and mushroom soup, which was later renamed to mushroom stew. Um, we can also, uh, we've got new mobs, we can also farm, we've got tools and equipment. Um, yeah, we've got a day at night cycle, tons of cool things. Also, there was a brief time during development here. Look, there are sheep, we can now get sheep. There's a brief time in development where, um, there were stats added to your inventory. Uh, attack, defense, and speed. They didn't do anything, but I think Notch may have wanted to make this more of an RPG kind of style and decided against it. Um, so there's that. Also, if we if we walk around and then quickly, you can, you can kind of see we do have the uh, the crazy walk animation 
As you can see, my arms are kind of flailing when I open my inventory. Also, there's no shift clicks. There's no speedy uh, crafting uh, or anything like that. So everything's going to be done very stock standard. I can't even change what uh, what the uh, the hotkeys are for inventory spaces. So I have to hit like nine and eight and one and all of that. And I can't change them to any other mouse buttons. So that's pretty cool or interesting. We've got the old gravel texture. I actually prefer that texture. But here we go. We're going to mine up some cobble. And we actually have tools now. It's freaking great. We're feeling good. Uh, I only crashed like four other worlds trying to just play the game. I don't know why, but for some reason some worlds just don't work. But hey, it's an old version of Minecraft. It's kind of expected. Uh, so yeah, we're going to mine up a whole bunch of this uh, cobble. We're going to make uh, a pick. We're going to make an axe. We're going to make a shovel. So axe, shovel, we're going to make a pick. Uh, we're going to make a sword. Oh, look at this. I grabbed the exact amount. And then we're going to make a furnace. We're going to keep the furnace on us because we don't really need to, to make anything. But this is where our Let's Play begins. So this is where Survival Minecraft kind of officially starts. The, the, the Minecraft that you know and love, this is where it begins in InDev. Uh, and if, yeah, it, you can see if you punch the sheep, uh, you get wool. So you can just punch them. You get a bunch of wool. Uh, it's the gray version of wool. Uh, and also, uh, they don't drop anything when they're killed. So there's no point in killing them. I killed the first one because I'm bad. But now we have wool. Yay! Yay! Oh, look, a mushroom. Cool, let's grab up this mushroom. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, mushrooms will be used for food, so that's pretty cool. We have red. I don't know if we have red dye in this version as of yet. Let's... No. Can I, like... No. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I could make uh, some red uh, wool. Because it exists in the game. Uh, but no, we cannot. There was a pig up there. Pigs are like the only source of food, along with bread and uh, mushroom stew, as you, uh, as I already had mentioned. But the problem is that mushroom stew and bread, you kind of have to uh, make, and it's a lot more difficult. But as you can see, right now, food does not stack. Now we can cook this, uh, but since we don't have a hunger bar, what it does is it just immediately heals us. There's no eating, there's no nothing like that. You just, you right click it and you consume it and, you know, it it fuels you. It heals you. Uh, also, the, the things in the crafting table don't go back into your inventory, which I am very used to. There's some coal over here. Let's go grab that so that we can cook things up. Nice and quickly. It'll be real nice to have. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I'm singing the Jurassic Park thing. Uh, but hopefully I don't get a copyright striked. Anyway. Anyway. So we're going to make a hoe, and I'm going to teach you how to get seeds in this version of Minecraft, because it's kind of wonky. Also, it's very dark. Uh, the first few episodes are going to be extremely dark because Minecraft doesn't have the brightness uh, switch for quite some time. But here, if we till the land, you can see we get some seeds. And now we have seeds. Uh, and so this is how you would get seeds previously, right? Because there's no like tall grass or, or just grass, right? So you would go around and you would till, till the land and you would get seeds. Uh, I don't think bone meal has been implemented, so you just kind of have to wait uh, for the seeds to grow. But now, ah, we're out. We're out of the, uh, the the hoe. So there's that. I also don't think that water does anything for the plants. But we're going to make ourselves... Um, we're we're going to go down here by by the ocean. We're going to make ourselves a a little farm. A little farm. Shall we? How does that sound? How does that sound? Okay, let's actually dig into the earth here. There's still no sound. I don't know why there isn't any sound for me, but there just isn't. Uh, there is definitely sound implemented into the game. I just can't hear any of it. There's just no sound. Uh, so hopefully that changes in later updates, but 
as of right now, there's nothing. We do have sand, which is nice. Uh, and I'm going to kind of dig into this wall here. Uh, and we'll make a little a little house right here. I'm going to put down some dirt. I'm going to dig up a, a bunch of this dirt here. I'm going to make... I'm gonna make a little uh, little farm. Might as well. Uh, we'll place that down. Make a new hoe. We'll make a hoe. We'll till all this land. Plop, 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 plop. Oh! Water does work! Okay, cool. I didn't know if that was added in this version or not. Uh, but yeah, there you go. We, we can now use the water. And uh, now we have wheat growing. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's make a... Let's make a door. Can we make doors? Do doors exist? Oh, we can make the one. That was an interesting texture. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we now have a door to our little hidey hole here. Uh, so <laughs> there's that. We're going to place some cobble down, make it look uh, a little bit more secure. But yeah, this is basically where we are going to be spending the first night because uh, let's be honest. In the early versions of Minecraft, night was rather troublesome. Uh, so we do want to stay... Oh, hey, look, a cave. Oh, look at that. There are creepers and no shifting. And you can't shift. And you can't shift. And, oh, they do no damage. Okay. Let's make some torches. Oh, gosh. Oh, let's... Oh, hello! Oh, they don't... Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Hello. Hello, good sir. Hello. Hello, get out of here. Whew, thank you. Thank you for the gunpowder. Ho, 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 ha. They do no damage. Oh, I might be playing on, like, easy or something, but oh my goodness. All right. That was, uh, very interesting. There's no shift. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez, um, crow. Are there any more of you? Does anyone else want to come out of the shadows and say hello? We're gonna block this off, jeez. <gasps> oh my lanta! <laughs> so I, I guess this is where we're uh, we're gonna be staying for the first uh, night. This is much more exciting than when I first recorded this. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! There we go. We can hop up here. We're gonna place down our. Furnace, which for some reason decided to face that direction. Uh, we're gonna cook up the uh, the. There is no animation for me opening a door. Anyway, that's interesting. We're gonna cook that up. Nice. We're gonna make some more torches. Nice. I need more wood. Oh, but it's already it's 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 nighttime. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We can quickly grab up. You will see, as soon as it becomes night, it will be pitch black. It will be pitch black. We got a sapling. This is the first version where uh, the leaves will actually decay, and you can get saplings from the leaves. I accidentally ate that because uh, that's how Minecraft worked back then. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Well, here we go. Our adventure... Uh, into the history of Minecraft begins, uh, and as you can see, it's it. Oh, it's get. Oh, it's real dark. I can't open the door. Oh, it's real dark. Let's place a torch here. Let's place some torches down. Oh dear. Oh, it's not even fully dark. Okay, I want this pig. He didn't drop me anything. Yeah, the pigs don't always drop things, uh, which is kind of sad kind of sad, but hey, we're good. Uh, the raw pork chops provide a heart and a half of healing. The full cooked pork chops provide uh, four hearts of healing. So, there is that. Alright. But, uh, oh, let's make let's make a chest. Can we make a chest? Do chests exist? Let's find out, shall we? They do! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's a full block and everything. Oh, I love it. No sound for anything. We gotta click and drag everything. We can't shift click anything into here. We've got some wool. I don't think... Beds were not added as of yet. 
Uh, beds have not been added. So as you can see, can't make a bed. I tried. Can't make it. Not possible. So we can put the wool away. Oh, oh, oh dear. Thank you. Anyway, that is going to be it for this first episode. It is nighttime. It is freaking dark out. Uh, there's a sheep running around. I'm not seeing any other mobs. I think I saw a spider maybe uh, over there, but... I don't remember. I don't, I don't think that's what it was. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, a like is very much appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as the rest of this playthrough, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.